My name's Tenebris, and with Road to Vostok's demo coming out soon, we're getting really close to actually getting our first experience in the game. So expect the date for that one coming maybe even next week at the soonest. But with the date being so close, I figured it would be cool to go over the weapons we can expect to see in the demo in just a short video for you dudes here. So firstly, we have the just recently announced Mosin Nagant. A absolutely classic sniper rifle, and one that is just flat out dirt nasty. Chambered in 762x54R, this thing slaps harder than your friggin' dad does, and has a ton of really interesting rounds to use from tracers to armor piercing. We also get to see the inclusion of the equally iconic Q3.5 scope, which was used by the famous Finnish sniper uh, Simo Halha, where Guy quickscoped an estimated 500 enemy soldiers during the Winter War, which is a pretty good KD ratio, I think. This thing will be great in both close and long-range combat, with the on-the-fly uh, attachment swapping and Road to Vostok, we'll be able to quickly make use of irons and long-range sniping. Next up, an iconic Finnish gun, the RK-64. and. I actually whipped up a mock RK in Tarkov just because it's a weapon you don't see often enough in video games. It uses 762x39 and is made by Valmet and Sacco. It's pretty much a high quality AK-47 that was put into mass production for the Finnish army, and they've used it ever since, so it's stood the test of time just like the AK. With more modernized variants out today, and even some pretty sick looking bullpup variants, I'm hoping Valmet and Sacco get a ton of love in this game, and we get to use a lot of the variety the RK platform offers. Now, for a gun that needs no introduction or explanation, the Glock, man! This standard sidearm is going to be our only pistol option for now, but I'm hoping we'll get a good bunch of pistols to use and choose from. From revolvers to desert eagles, five sevens, there's a lot of options for sidearms, and it'll be great to see how they're expanded on over the years here in Road to Vostok. Then, the shoddy of choice. The RM870 is probably going to be a pretty solid weapon to use with slugs and buckshot for our choice of ammunition. Plus, the potential for muzzle options like chokes and maybe in the future after an upgrade kit or two silencers as well. One thing, as an aside here before we move on, I really dig the texture work the developer Auntie puts together on these guns. The shading and use of detail is so excellent, man. Now for our submachine gun, the PM5 or MP5. We'll have the option of semi, burst, and full auto. Again, most of these guns are pretty iconic and don't need too much explanation, but I'm personally really excited to see how SMGs handle in this game. Then the MA14. Right now, we've only seen the base level, so it's got that old school M4 look to it. I'm probably going to use this a bit because I always like a bit of M4 Guerrilla Warfare, but it's going to be hard to justify using it outside of like testing purposes when you have the choice of using a HK416, man. Top of the frickin' meta. I said it over on the Patreon, but I'm going to say it here too. It's going to be hard to get the 416 out of my hands throughout this demo. Thing absolutely is one of my favorite guns in Tarkov. Still hoping that RN Jesus will bless me with one on my main account, but it's been my main gun for weeks in single player Tarkov. A proper battle rifle, and I'm very excited to see what it's like in Vostok as our first look at what endgame weapons are going to be like. And for the last weapon we'll be seeing in the demo, the Sacco 85 or SK 85 in Vostok. A hunting rifle made by Valmet and Sacco, which gives me hope for seeing a lot of Finnish arms in Road to Vostok. Chambered in 243, this hunting rifle is for medium-sized game and likely won't be outperforming the Mosin in any area other than maybe ergonomical value. We'll have to see if each weapon affects arm stamina differently, but I'm personally hoping they do so we can have a good use for lighter arms that maybe would be better for like short journeys to the edge of the border. Either way, I'm getting a bit off track here. The SK-85 is going to probably be one of the main early game guns we'll be getting our hands on when the game starts to hit bigger strides over the next few years. So hopefully it's cheap, light, and easy to use. So 
thank you for watching. Again, this is just a short video going over these guns now, but we'll be doing a part two when the demo drops, looking at these guns much more closely. But let me know if there's any guns you're looking forward to using in this demo. Also, subscribe to stay tuned for that release date coming very soon. But for now, I will catch you all in the next one. Until then, 